Hello and welcome to a lesson um, I'm going to title Translations. As you can see from my title here, it is our first rigid transformation. And the, the term or the phrase rigid transformation, we're going to use another word as well. I'm going to write above here is called an isometry. An isometry is where uh, we have something that, uh, that preserves the lengths preserves the lengths of our um, figures or shapes of whatever we're doing. Here you can see I've taken a little snip of a diagram I created from GeoGebra on the left in the blue, and it doesn't have to be blue, but is we're going to call the pre-image uh, before I did a translation. On the right-hand side, after the translation will be called my image. And the reason I know I have pre-image and image is because of the labeling. So originally I had polygon A, B, C, D, E, here on the left is very typical in our notation. After we have um, um, had some kind of transformation, in this case a translation, we use the, the notation prime. A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, E prime to indicate there's been some sort of movement. So our first, uh, our first rigid transformation is called a translation. And this means to move the image about the plane without doing any rotation, without doing any shrinking or growing. So it preserves the size. It just, and it preserves its orientation. It just shifts it. So here, um, the, the way you can, act, and by the way, it has a, an, an algebraic representation as well. If you think about the coordinates of all the points on the pre-image and image, um, the, the, the pre-image, let me write this down for you, the pre-image, what you want to think about is all of the X, Y coordinates on the pre-image, what happened to them after they went to the image? And the way we write that down, we do a little arrow. We say, okay, all the image, uh, all the points in the pre-image, where do they go? Uh, when they became the image. So all you really need to do is track one. <clears throat> so I'll just use the point B. You could use any of the points, it wouldn't matter since it didn't twist. What happened to B? Well, you can see if you count the spaces uh, carefully that B shifted one, two, three, four, five, six places to the right. So that's an X movement of positive six. And it also shifted down one, two spaces. So what we say is the X value, the X coordinate, grew by six. So I'm going to put it went to x plus six, x shifted to x plus six, and y, every y coordinate, went to y minus two. And that's an algebraic way of saying every point in this entire figure. So every point inside here was taken and moved over six and down two.